Welcome to this video on using group by function in Microsoft Excel. So I'm on Microsoft Excel on the desktop here and I'm on a Windows device and I have a 365 license just in case yours look, looks a little bit different or your functionality behaves in a different way as there's so many different versions out there. So group by is something that we can use to simplify grouping amounts of data together using different fields, a little bit like what you would do with pivot tables, but for some people, pivot tables just seem a little bit scary or a little bit fiddly, and you just want a simple function to give you some information. Group by could be the answer that you're looking for, so I'm going to give you a really nice, simple example, just like we do on this channel. We keep things really simple and easy, and then you can go on and build with it using your data and your examples. So I've got a little bit of data here. I've got some order information. I can see it's split up into sectors because that's how my business is split up in. And I've got order amounts. What I want to do is get a total order amount for each of my sectors. And I can use the group by function to do this really, really quickly. So let's have a go. So with a sector cell there, I'm going to click below and I'm going to start to write my function. Any sort of function or formula, you're always going to start with an equal sign. Hopefully, we know that by now from previous videos. So I'm going to pop in that equal sign, and then I'm going to start to type in the function name, which is group by, and double click on it. So once it's clicked on, I can see exactly what I need to do to build up and complete this function. I only need three bits of information. They're the mandatory bits of information. There are other bits I could add as well. I need to understand what I'm grouping it by, what values I'm looking at, and then what function I'm actually going to use. Because there are a few different options, which you will see as we are going along. So to get started, I'm first going to select my sectors. And then whenever I'm creating a function with multiple arguments or different parts, I'm going to put a comma in between. Now I want to add the value, so I'm selecting the order amount column popping in a comma there, and finally, there's my function options. You can see some at the top and some of the other function options available in Group By that you can see on the screen right now. So you've got loads of opportunity to play around with what you want to do with this function. It's not just for some, which is really, really, really great. So I'm gonna select some and lock that in place. Remember how I mentioned at the beginning, there are other options as well where you can define even more with this group by function, but I am just going to leave it very simply as I want to group by the sector, they want to group the order amounts, and I want a calculation, so I want a total order amount by sector. That's what I'm creating with this function. So all I need to do is either press enter or close the brackets and then press enter and then that information will appear. And now you can see I've got the table there. I've got all of my sectors listed and the total amounts, the total order amounts for each sector. So really nice and simple and easy. I didn't have to create one of those scary pivot tables or anything like that. I know some people absolutely love them. Some people absolutely think pivot tables, no, do not want to create one of those. So this will give you some different options to play around with. And remember, group by is not just some, there was loads of other opportunities when we created that function. So things like average and things like that. So you can really use it to just quickly get a bit of visibility of some data without having to create pivot tables and play around with those. So I want to have a go at, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.